Okay, what is the difference between these two hot air guns? Well, one is not meant for professional work. The first notable difference is that this hot air gun is much larger. The main difference between the construction and these two uh, hot air guns, which stem from two different hot air stations, uh, is that this one uses a fan to push the air through the he heating element, while this one has a hose on it that goes to its unit, which pushes the air through the heating element. Now, which one is better? It's no surprise, this one. Why? Well, the answer is really simple. It's the volume. As I've said before, this one has a fan in it. And you can see the fan clearly. But this one has a piston pump within its unit. What is the difference? Why am I claiming that this one is better? Well, it's easy. A fan is never going to be able to push as much volume of air as a piston pump. And I'm going to do a test. It's not really going to be a scientific test. I'm not going to make my own PCBs and uh, cool them down to the same temperature and see which one does better. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to... I'm not going to waste time on that garbage, but I'm going to do a simple demonstration on my practice board. You're going to see why do I why am I claiming that this type of hot air gun is better. Now let's get the practice board in. Okay, this is my practice board. Uh it actually belonged to me from my old PC and I just use it to practice and to test my tools because it has this high ground plane area here where you need to test your high power tools. The other area just has some chips on it. So you use your precision tools and just practice. I mean, it's a jack of all trades. If you don't have something like this, ask for it at your local service or just buy it for a buck or two. I mean, it's, 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 not, it's not that bad. I'm gonna use the same settings on both of these. It's gonna be 380 degrees Celsius and the airflow will be set to uh, six, whatever that means. Okay, I'm going to be removing these two MOSFETs. Um, I will remove one with the first hot air gun. Uh, I will wait for the board to cool down completely and I will remove this one. I don't want to precision remove it or anything like that. I'm just going to toss it away. Uh, and to make this a little bit more interesting, I'm going to start a stopwatch. So the first timer starts. If you see any bubbling down there, it's because I've already tampered with these in the past and there's probably some residual flux under it. Okay. This hose is quite large. And it's done. Time. One minute, 22 seconds. I'm going to remove it from this spot and just do, do the good old fashioned blowing on it. No pun intended. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention uh, the, the nozzle size is also the same on them. So yeah, this one is just a little bit longer, but the diameter is the same. It's the same. 
Okay, and it's cooled down. Let's reset the stopwatch. And let's start the timer. As you can see, the flux under it starts bubbling right away. And time. 23 seconds. 23 seconds. The test is pretty conclusive if you ask me. If you followed my channel for long enough, you would just point out that I used to push this hot air station to the moon and back that I was really excited to have it, that I couldn't wait to get it, and that is true, because I had nothing better before that. Um, you, have to, you, you have to keep one thing in mind. I bought this soldering station, I believe it's the Baku 858A, back when I was still in college. I was still a student, and I bought it so I could use it in my dorm room. While I was still dabbling in electronics, while I still wasn't planning to go pro in it. And it served me really well. But if you needed to rip out any, for example, HDMI connectors, USB connectors, or something similar, you will see its shortcomings very quickly. This one, on the other hand, would eat it up. And the price difference between these, these two, they're both Baku, this one is 858A, and this one is 701B. The only real difference, it's the same manufacturers, same nozzles, same setup, same everything, is the air delivery. And a piston pump will always deliver more volume. More air will pass through the heating element than a measly little fan can push through. The price difference, as I tried to say before, between these two isn't that huge. This one was 35 bucks when I bought it, plus shipping it was about 40 bucks. And you have to keep in mind, in my country, as a student, to save up 30 to 40 bucks was, man, was good. And I was excited because I never had a hot air station before, you know. But, you know, the more I work with it, the more I saw its shortcomings and a few days ago I bought this one and it completely changed my world this one was $55 but $5 shipping and $50 for the station itself it's one of those combination stations where you get a soldering iron and a heat gun but I don't use them both I use a separate soldering iron the Yahua one uh, as you've seen this is it this was the point of my video if you're an electronics hobbyist who who does uh, or a kid who just doesn't know if you'll stick to this get this one I mean you know 40 bucks it's 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 not that bad but if you at some point think that you might be going pro Get this one and get rid of the heartache. I'm going to be giving this one away to my dad because he didn't know that you could actually solder or desolder chips. Thanks for watching this video. This wasn't really a scientific comparison. I really didn't want to waste my time to uh, make my own PCBs and order them to JLC PCB and use two different boards or use the same boards and measure the temperature to make sure that the starting temperature is the same and yada 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 uh, I'm really not one of those channels I just want to do electronics do repairs without uh, having to worry about too much and uh, thanks for watching everybody and thanks for your patience and I hope you really like my new setup um, this is it uh, I'll be ending this video right now.